Hey YouTube, Rider Zero here today with a review of Common Rider 5s from the SH Fig Yards line. I uh, just got this today from AmiAmi, Ami. Uh, so I wanted to get this up as soon as possible because I really, really like this figure. Uh, a lot of people had complaints when they first started seeing the mold and prototypes and stuff, and even now that it's out, some people are still having a little bit of complaints and nitpicks, but that's going to happen with all Fig Yards, but we'll go over those when we get to them. Um, yeah, like I said, I just got this today, so... Uh, we'll go ahead and start with the box. Obviously, by the way, you can see that I already have the figure out. Um, I really couldn't wait to get this one out because I really, really love the armor. And uh, I wanted to go ahead and get him in this pose because I knew I was going to have a little bit of difficulty with it. And I was right. It's really hard for some reason to get the weight balanced out to where he doesn't fall over. So that will probably be the only time you see him because I'll have to straighten him out to do the review and everything and show you all the all the cool little features and everything on them so I wanted to get that out of the way so I didn't have to spend a bunch of time trying to do it during the review so we're going to start take a look at the box um, sorry if it is kinda of dark for whatever reason the light on my camera decided to stop working so I can't turn it on um, so there you see the logo of Common Rider Fives nice shot of him try to turn this so the overhead light gets it a little bit um, it does say Master Rider Fives of course side of the box Master Rider 5's and then as usual on the back a few nice action shots with the phone in blaster mode and then of course the awesome size pose right there so yeah a lot of cool stuff that comes with him he does come with quite a few accessories uh, one of which I already have on and we'll take a look just real quick uh, as far as the hands go, he does come with regular hands, or not regular hands, but fists. Uh, he comes with those actually on. I took those off the switch for that pose specifically. Then he comes with a gripping hand. Um, phone, the Fives phone in phone mode, and then in gun mode, and then with the uh, Fives pointer on the gun. And then, of course, his sword. And then he's got the uh, Fives driver without the phone on it. And then the Fives driver with the, I don't know what it's called, the little metal that kind of looks like his helmet uh, on this fist here, which is the, uh, I think it's called the Fives shot, if I'm not mistaken. Um, cool thing about the Fives shot, I'm not going to go ahead and pop this out because there's really no reason to, but this is actually all one piece right here. Like, you can't take the, you can't take the Fives shot off of that particular hand. It's all made together, so... Uh, yeah, so anyway, that's what all it comes with. You know, it's got a nice selection of accessories there. Just going to throw this behind them and use that as a background. Like I usually do. It looks really dark. I'm sorry if you guys can't really see it very good. Um, so we'll go ahead and pull Fives in here. Straighten them out and get a good look at the particular mold. Um, go over some of the detailing and some of the nitpicks that some people had with it. Try to straighten the ankles out here. I particularly thought it was a great mold. I really like the Fi's armor. Um, I really like the figure. I think he looks really good. Uh, so we'll try to take a look at some of the detailing. He does have the uh, compound style circular eyes. I don't know if there's a exact name for it. I don't know if you guys can pick that up very well, but they're there. Um, armor looks good. I looked the figure over. I didn't see any flaws with the paint. Haven't had any problems with joint. Uh, the legs are a little bit loose. I don't know if that's just because I've kind of had them stretched out already and been messing with it a lot, but, you know, legs are a little loose. No big deal, though. Uh, articulation, standard figure arts articulation. Armors come up, you know, uh, elbows, hand movement, stomach, and chest. Neck movement is good, no restrictions. Uh, double jointed knees as always. And then the thigh seems to be on like a ball joint type maybe. Um, it does it does raise up and down like that. And then of course independently there on the on the actual joint. Uh, ankles of course as always, side to side, front to back, the toes bend. 
Um, you can see I already have the Fives Pointer on there just because I had them in the Epic Pose mode. Take a look at the back. Um, nothing really to write home about on the back. I mean, the armor just is pretty plain. It does actually, I don't know if you can tell by the way, I didn't want to point that out. It does have a matte finish to it. Uh, it looks kind of glossy because of the glare, but um, uh, compared to something, say, like Common Rider Skull, uh, yeah, this one's definitely nowhere near as glossy of a finish. Um, and I think it looks really good. Some of the nitpicks that some people had starting off, uh, you could probably tell compared to most figure arts, the size of his legs are a little bigger than some of the others. Um, I don't really have one nearby that I can grab to prove that point. Uh, let me see. Actually, I have G3X right here. Hold on. I had him pose, so you'll just have to deal with it. You can see there, comparatively, uh, the armor is a little makes it look a little bit bigger, but compared to Foz overall, you know, the thighs look a little bigger. Some people had a problem with that. I personally didn't. I think it looks pretty true to the actual Foz from the show. Um, you know, uh, if they are a little bigger, I don't really think it detracts away from the figure itself being awesome. Most people said... Uh, or not, I can't say most. A lot of people said that he looked like he does on the show. You know, he he was a bigger common rider. Um, I particularly didn't have a problem with it. Like I said, it didn't stop me in any way from going ahead and pre-ordering this. And then the other thing that a lot of people complain about are the fingertips. Um, if you've watched Faz, you know that on the show his fingertips actually are silver. Um, but unfortunately, they didn't. Ah. Oh yeah, and that's something else I need to mention. I don't know if it's both of them, but this particular knee seems to be a little loose, so you might want to watch out for that when you go to pose them or do whatever. You might want to put a little dab of super glue in there. Get back in there. Okay, there we go. Now stand up. Um, but anyway, what I was saying, the fingertips, a lot of people complain because they weren't painted silver. Uh, like he does have silver t fingertips in the show. Again, with that, I, I didn't really have a problem with it. Um, little things like that don't really bother me. You know, obviously I want the paint that's on the actual figure to be good. You know, I want it to have an overall good mold. Uh, the little details, you know, I can, I can overlook those for something that I think is a great figure. Um, without watching the show, you know, I already knew about Fives, and I really, really like the armor design. I'm a really big fan of the colors. I'm a sucker for black and red. Um, that's why Kabuto is actually my first figure art. I, I got that without even watching any of the figures, um, or watching any of the shows, I apologize. Um, yeah, that was my first one, just simply for the colors, and if I had seen this one, or if this had been around when I was buying the first one, I probably would have picked this one up, just because I like it that much. Um, so I would definitely recommend this one for figure arts fans, as well as Fies fans. Um, it's a great figure art. I don't think the little, you know, the little bitty things like the fingertips or the thighs should detract you from getting this one. Um, it fits well with the rest of the line. It's got a great mold to it. Paint applications are excellent as usual, and it's overall just a really, really good figure. Uh, it's got a good accessory count, and it's just well done. But, I mean, it's figure art, so what can you say? They're all pretty much well done. Um, so definitely two thumbs up on this one. Grab this one if you can. It's already getting kind of hard to find from what I understand. Um, so grab it if you can. Uh, so I guess that'll about do it. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. As always, please comment, rate, subscribe, etc., etc. Let me know what you guys think of this. And until next time, take care.